Samsung Electronics has commenced the taping out process for its inaugural system on chip utilizing Samsung Foundry's advanced 3NM gate all around process. Mass production for this chip is anticipated to commence within the coming months. Synopsis Samsung's partner in this endeavor, an electronics design automation firm, disclosed that Samsung leveraged its EDA suite to enhance the chip's performance. Taping out signifies the conclusive phase of a semiconductor chip design process. During this stage, the ultimate design file is forwarded to the foundry, enabling the creation of masks essential for mass production. Samsung's inaugural high-performance mobile chip incorporates a CPU and GPU and multiple IP blocks sourced from Synopsys. Although Samsung has been fabricating 3NM chips since late 2022, primarily for cryptocurrency mining with relatively straightforward designs, this marks the first instance where Samsung Foundry appears poised to manufacture an advanced high-performance mobile chip. It's probable that this chip will be integrated into the Galaxy Watch 7 or possibly the Galaxy S25 series. According to reports, the South Korean firm utilized the Synopsys. AI EDA software to refine the chip's design, enhance its performance, and maximize yields. Additionally, Samsung's engineers employed the Synopsys Fusion compiler to achieve superior performance, reduce power consumption, and optimize chip area. If these assertions hold true, we could anticipate a significant enhancement in Samsung's forthcoming high-end mobile chip. Nevertheless, it remains uncertain whether this chip utilizes Samsung Foundry's first-generation 3NM or second-generation 3NM process. The latter appears more probable given its suitability for complex chips like smartphone selfies. Kijun Hong, VP of Samsung's System LSI Arm said, Our long-standing collaboration has delivered leading-edge system-on-chip designs. This is a remarkable milestone for successfully achieving the highest performance power and area on the most advanced mobile CPU cores and system-on-chip designs in collaboration with Synopsys. Not only have we demonstrated that AI-driven solutions can help us achieve PPA targets for even the most advanced GA process technologies, but through our partnership, we have established an ultra-high productivity design system that is consistently delivering impressive results. Samsung and Synopsys assert that the utilization of Synopsys' design automation tools facilitated a 300 mAh enhancement in the chip's clock speed, while concurrently reducing power consumption by 10%. Engineers leveraged design partitioning optimization, multi-source clock tree synthesis, intelligent wire optimization, and a streamlined hierarchical approach. Synopsys Fusion compiler expedited these tasks significantly, bypassing weeks of manual design labor. Previously, chips manufactured by Samsung Foundry encountered challenges associated with elevated power consumption and performance throttling during sustained workloads. The introduction of the GAA design was anticipated to address these issues. However, no other chip firm utilized it for manufacturing smartphone processors or other high-performance chips. The debut of Samsung's first 3 of Exynos chip will shed light on whether these concerns have been effectively resolved. We recently saw a leak via tweet regarding the battery capacity of the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra for next year. According to Sawyer Galax, Samsung's top-tier flagship phone for 2025 will maintain the same 5,000 mAh capacity while offering support for 45-watt fast charging, aiming to keep costs in check. Initially, the intention was to utilize stacked batteries to enhance battery life and enable faster 65-watt charging. However, Samsung has reportedly postponed this feature to 2026, reserving it for the Galaxy S26 Ultra instead. Despite the disappointment surrounding the lack of change in battery capacity for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, there's some intriguing news from another tipster known as PandaFlash. According to PandaFlash, who claims to have received information from an unnamed source, Samsung might introduce a new feature called Battery AI to a future iteration of the Galaxy S line. This feature is purported to provide an extra 5% to 10% runtime to the phone. Typically, software aimed at extending battery life often achieves this by throttling the CPU slash GPU or by limiting the capabilities of the 5G modem. PanaFlash, however, didn't receive details on how battery AI operates, but speculates that it might function by shutting down unnecessary background tasks that consume system resources. This approach could potentially optimize power usage without compromising performance or connectivity. Introducing the standard Galaxy S25 equipped with a 6.2-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50-megapixel primary camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. 
It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, or maybe it will run on the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 houses a 4,000 mAh battery supporting 25 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's Advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz of dynamic AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440, it incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50-megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S24 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging USS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting swift 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,299. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 series specifications, please tell us. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.